They finished cooking that dwarf yet. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having ah, a bit of fun. Glad you've a moment for me. My, um, predicament has become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume right now. I've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. It's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Bloody racket! Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost so got bad. past. Once you get used to it. We got it now, eh? Plus Once side, the starts my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of flutter. I might be Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. <laughs> but in time, all will be told. My lord, I bow to your boundless kindness. Power is beyond reach until you rest. Can't be here to see 
the true souls. Those types don't even bother to wait. Well, I didn't say that. But you will need to be more specific, mate. Absolutes blessed us with free. You here to see Priestess Gun, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? Do you now? Might feel different once she puts a burning brand to you. She's through the main doors. Just follow the smell of burnt goblin arse. <laughs> Bloody racket. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? And once the whelp starts singing... Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Do you hear the absolute more vile voice? idolatry? Makes my stomach turn. For once, the goblins' decorations are an improvement. For him, my pigeon, he's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? You feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. yapping about my pigeon. I should have turned him over to Mindora by now, but he's such a nice little pigeon. What? Oh, oh, I ain't. Minthora don't give a cake what you think. Bah, just take him if you care so much. See if he'll sing for the likes of you, though. Does he think? Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. 
please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon, forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh. Take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I came just in time. 
You are transforming. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it, nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Hello. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If what you say were true, you'd be a Mind Flayer by now. You? Infected by a Mind Flayer? 
Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, my dear sweet God! I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. dream as we all did i suspect someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me the parasite has taken root it would seem every word every promise it is geek deception You're delusional. I'd sooner trust a night hag than a strange figure bearing dream gifts. Oh, I curse to put my hands on everything. Smells like burnt flesh of... Now, here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you, too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Let's the faithful recognize one another, quick, sharp. That way, nobody will mess with you. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. Charged with magic? Perhaps that explains the ease with which these goblins submit to true souls. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't you? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again.
Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Don't want this rabble interfering with true soul business. Let's go to my chapel. Oi! Priestess! Like we us. want the mark! Why do they yeah. think they're talking to a dog? Ain't we good enough for the absolute? Ready to clear your head. Whatever the Absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Ready to clear your head. The Absolute will protect me. You don't stand a chance. is dead, but the parasite is still alive. A dull moment. Still breathing, despite everything.
This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was, and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. What's up for discussion? That the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Half right, sharp eyes. As then is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you?
pleasure. My face protects me. Some boots. Nothing's ripe with magic. Salutations. At least things have stayed interesting. What's a tick got to be sad about? Humans ain't good for much, but they make great. So I ain't wasting our hoes, not me! You've been one of them no oh. clubs. And I'm not having a It's right! It's right! Swallowed him all! You kill him? Yeah! They're awesome! Nah! He captured him, right? Could have killed him. Easy. Seems but like a good moment to talk. Now figure that one. Fresh dissolve with me bare hands. We couldn't pick these humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? A half elf. Thinking you rule the world. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. F forgive me! I had no idea! The other true soldier are inside! The planning and such! Then this other guy twirls his fingers and some light comes out! 
and the dwarf just stops bleeding, just stands back up. Do the trick. I'm ready. Lot on my mind and well in it on my way I'll take that looks like the booze got the better of them they're practically unconscious
shabby workmanship. Strong push, and this wall comes down. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. You don't need to tell me twice, boss. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Good night. No time to waste. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Don't need to tell me twice, boss. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Good night. 